Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beat Up Plan, playing The Wolf Among Us. So last time we left off, we found Snow White dead on our doorstep, and uh, wow. That was a bit of a shocker, let's put it that way. So, let us see what will happen in this new episode. Ooh, that's not a good thing to stare at for a long time. Or any period of time. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Looking for some help there? What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. What? Uh... Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... Please, please. Yeah. Okay, apparently I'm just as susceptible to that sound as she is. Yoza. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. The what? This is gonna look suspicious on camera. Go now. Um. What the fuck is going on? You could be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. I think more crimes have been committed in the last 24 hours than just what happened at the woodlands. And that may have some collateral damage. A, a wolf? Photo, and there's also a camera that was on. Just, yeah, thanks, photo, camera, camera, camera. Okay. They were taping you. That then got wiped. There's no memory to wipe, though. Unless you would call tape having a memory, but yeah, well, <clears throat> okay. That was weird. Also, thanks, they get up. Didn't know you could cast spells, to be honest. I think that would have helped against the Headless Horseman. Just, yeah, I don't really understand, but okay. Okay, are we having a coughing contest? <coughs> have I won? No? Okay, well, um... Thanks for the lift. Certainly. We, uh... Found the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. 
Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. Bluebeard! And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling. He just must have had some sort of accomplice. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You okay? You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. Hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. That was the last thing she said. Hmm. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. I agree, dear. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Oh, wow. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. There's also as many cars in the same amount of days. Two, and now the one of Ichabod. It's not helping Ichabod when you're telling us we need to stop and we're gonna get an extra killing. It's not very good for morale. What? I met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away, Santi, my dear Annie. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he what? singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. I don't care. Hello, You're... Sheriff. Come to help. I... Because I think I have a secure handle on things. Yeah, I'll take help? over. No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let yes. Me tell the story. I can tell it all about the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. Uh, Woody, that you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you. So get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right, but we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this, Blue Dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. That is true indeed, so... Are you ready, Sheriff? Shut up, Bluebeard. Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? Oh, I'll take care of it. 
The what pipe down. What are you planning to do exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. Yes. I just want to talk. See what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. Thank you, Ichabod. <clears> hmm. <throat> My wrists fucking hurt. Yeah. You know what? Let's show him what we have here. Let's see if this jolts his memory. What's that? Well, something you might know something about. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> you want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you. I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh confiscated his belongings for the time being this was all we could find on him in any case no that isn't much nothing exceptional to speak of much like the man himself i'd say oh pipe thank you so uh, this imbecile will have him going in circles he's getting somewhere thank you ichabod you know what? He asks for a smoke. A smoke won't hurt us. He won't escape thanks to having a smoke. Let's uh, show him that we have a smoke. Hmm? You want a smoke? Will that make you talk this a little bit more? Really... Oh, what's the point of this? What the point of it is, is trying to, well, placate the one we are, um, uh, well, interrogating. What are you planning to do exactly? Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. Can, Woody. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but I can't leave it alone. It's a waste of fucking time. We'll see if it's a waste of time. After you tell us what you know. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you okay. Did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. Yes, you can. You're still a suspect on the murder thing here, so... Getting pretty tired. I don't care. Uh, look. Who are you talking about, huh? Who? That was my own fault. But it's not about the killings. It's not. Yeah, that doesn't give us anything, Woody. It... Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? If you don't start talking, and I mean fast. You'll pray to any god who'll listen that your mother never shit you into this fucking world. It's not worth all that. Fuck. Woody, who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? Girl. I can't. Just... 
Just let me go. Please. Where was this girl supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? The girl. It was... Faith, all right? Faith. There we go. This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk. Now. No one's behind anything. This, I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. Hmm. Do we, what else do we have here? For fuck's sakes. Hmm. Booze, you know what? You talk more when you drink, don't you, Woody? You like a little drink, you don't you? You sober. Let me... Let me get a swig of that. We are starting to get somewhere, at least. So... Oh, dear. Sorry about the frames. Let's hope that it figures itself out a little bit. I am really, really sorry about that. For some reason, all of a sudden, my computer thinks... Eh, well, it's certainly a strong drink, but yeah. Want some? You know you want some, Woody. There you go. Thanks. I wish I could pause the game and let itself sort out, but Who I can't really. Expecting? There we go. Lily. We have a name. Who's Lily. Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap. Her sister's. Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid. She did her thing. And that was it. Well, think about those things. Faith seem... came to the door. Oh. It just set me off. Lily usually conked me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gran and her, that whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. Can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. Because my best is a whole lot better than this. Find the door or shut the hell up. Or what? Because if today's events have been any indication, I have nothing to fear from your pitiful threats. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <gasps> oh no, you, you just doing? stepped Teaching over the line. line. Now pay attention. You? Stop this right now. Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. And then Woodsman is also one of us, and it's my business. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That is wrong, Blue Bear. There you go. How do you like this apple, huh? You push, I'll push back. What? No. What's going on down here? Uh. Snow. Well, and with that, I see in the episode. I'm sorry for that one little bit of part of framiness, but I hope you still enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode. I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril means great beauty.